I was saying, if you were near a television, if you were near a goddamn TV, do you have a TV in your life, okay? If you're not one of these fucking readers, these people who are informed, these people who know who their governor is, you know what I mean? They know all the words to the national anthem. Uh, you know, they've memorized all the flags around the world. You know those people? They just can't get enough of doing excruciatingly boring things. You know? They, they, they fucking, they're the kinds of people that when they buy something, they like read the instructions, the whole fucking book. They, they know how their whole phone works. All, these, are all the, these are all the people that, you know, you don't really hate them, which you, you really, you hate yourself because you know they're doing the right thing. There's nothing worse than when you're a fucking dope like me to be near somebody that is doing the right thing. Because when you see them doing the right thing, there's that voice in the back of your head that you really try to drown out, you know, that's saying like, Bill, that's, that's what you should be doing. You know you should be doing that, right? You know if you did that, you know, you'd stop having these ridiculous rants about technology and how fucking stupid it is. The reality is, is you lack the focus to get through an eight-page pamphlet, most of which are pictures with arrows pointing at the shit that the words are talking about. You can't get through that. And this person reminds you of that. So rather than being a fucking adult and just sitting down and opening the fucking booklet, you start yelling at the thing like it's a person. This is really just sort of therapy. I tried to set up Apple TV the other day and uh you know I, I i just i know how i am now i just told my wife to do it she's like i have to do it i said yeah you have to do it right she goes why i go because you you are you're wired no pun intended better than i am for these types of situations right so she fucking uh i'll, I'll break down right here the difference between me and my wife right she fucking got in there so i'm sitting out in the backyard right drinking a miller and she's in there and I'm just listening to her sort of talking out loud, figuring it out. And then she got to one point and it fucked up. And then she, she laughed and went, oh, no, oh, or something like that. And I said, I would never, ever emotionally be there. I would, that right there was where I'd be like, oh, what the fuck? Fuck this fucking thing. You know, I would flip out. She just laughed, okay? Now, here's the difference between us. So the other, last night I'm at a buddy's my house, house, right? It's like eight of us. And we're fucking smoking a cigar and, uh, or cigars, I should say. We're not passing around like a joint, which is why I never got into smoking weed. It's like, I, it was the most disgusting thing is that thing gets passed around and shit. You know, I was always sitting there like, is, can I have my own? <laughs> <laughs> no offense, fellas. You know, I, I really like you guys. But uh, c- could I have my own that only my mouth touches? Um, it's fucking dirty, hippie, fucking pot smoking sons of bees. Um, so we're over there and we're fucking smoking and somebody just points. He's got this big window in his house and this light is on and somebody points to the window and is like, dude, what the fuck? And we look and there's this mouse like climbing up the fucking window. And ironically enough, we were just talking about working with monkeys, you know, in movies and shit and like in wild animals and stuff. And we, I was talking, I, I would never fight. That's a deal breaker. I don't give a fuck how much money. There's no fucking way I'm working with the monkey because those things routinely fucking just, they snap. You know what I mean? Everybody looks at, oh, look, he's got a little hat on and a vest. Somehow it's not a chimpanzee anymore that has the ability to rip my foot off my body. Fuck that thing. Fuck that thing, all right? I'm not working with it. I just got done saying that. And then when we saw the mouse, it all went out the fucking window. Next thing you know, we're trying to corner this thing, right? This is when you really realize what people are like when you get into like a crisis like this. So I got this Tupperware thing. I don't know why I didn't grab like a mop handle or something, but I'm in shorts and shit. And all I'm thinking is that this fucking thing bites me. Do I got to get those 70 rabies shots to the stomach? Um... And I'm sitting there, right, the fucking liberal, trying to capture this thing and shoo it out the window. And then my buddy, the conservative, is fucking goes, he literally, the things went up the, uh, the curtain. It was way up on the curtain. This guy's got this fucking, it was like 12 foot fucking ceilings, this old house, you know. And uh, it's all the way up there on the curtain. And the conservative dude goes, get some WD-40 in a match. <laughs> 
It's like, it ain't even serious. It's like, dude, you want to burn this? Do you want to hear the sound of a mouse burning alive? You want that on your fucking hard drive? Not to mention, it's on curtains. You know, well, I don't know what sort of sniper you think I am with this fucking shit. I'm, I'm not doing that. So anyways, so the thing fucking like lightning quit. Like I threw the Tupperware at it to get it to crawl back down the curtain. We're like, where is it? Where is it, dude? And like fucking Barry Sanders zigzags between all of us, takes off down the hall and goes through the only open door into the bathroom. So then my buddy's in there. He's got it. And he's got like the fucking Tupperware thing. And I'm going and I'm going close the door, close the door. But it's, he doesn't want to be, I don't know, close the door and be in there with the fucking mouse because it's still creepy. So I'm going, shut the fucking door, shut the fucking door. And he, uh, he won't shut the door. And all of a sudden the thing starts running out. And I gave it the old fucking right pad save, kicked it back into the room, right? It was like kicking a sock too. You could, I could barely feel it. I'm sure it felt different to the mouse. And it's hilarious. It fucking, <laughs> fucking hit my buddy right in his knee. And he was wearing fucking shorts and he fucking ah, jumps up in the air. And then the fucking thing ran out again, got down on the stairs, and I'm fucking, like, with this Tupperware thing going, boom, 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 trying to get the fucking thing. And then finally, like, and where it ran, like, there wasn't a good amount of light. And I fucking had it. I heard it squeal. And they turned the light on, and I got the thing down, and the thing's on its back, looking up on me. Its whole body is in the Tupperware, and I'm right down on its neck. And it's just looking up at me. And I got to tell you something right now. The thing was fucking adorable. Fucking adorable. So I was able to, you know, quickly get its fucking head in there. And then the thing's in there, like, making this squealing noise. And I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. We're almost there. And I just slid it across the floor <laughs> as it was freaking out. So I get it all the way to the door. And then there's, you know, that, that piece of wood there between the door and outside now i gotta fucking lift it up i start to lift it up immediately it's fucking gross tail is sticking out and i'm like ah fuck if this thing runs back in the house then we gotta do this shit all over again and then what if i get bit so i just held it down uh the tupperware thing down and i sort of stood up with my hand still on it brought my foot back closed the door as much as i could and i just fucking booted the thing and it just took off like a maniac down the driveway and the mouse lived Live to tell another fucking tale. And um, that's what I'm good at. You get a fucking mouse in the house, I'll fucking, I'll get out some Tupperware and I'll fucking get rid of it, all right? But if you want me to set up Apple TV, like, I actually enjoyed catching the mouse. I was never, like, even when I was running around, I wasn't frustrated. I never felt any anger. When I saw the mouse there, I didn't have any urge to kill it. I thought it was fucking adorable. And then I, I just let it go. And the mindset I was in that entire time during that, that, you know, moderately challenging point in my life, if I could just be in that mindset when, you know, I'm trying to fucking download something or anything like that, I, I feel like, I feel like my wife would have like 70% less shit to complain about when it comes to me. You know what I mean? If I could just somehow get in that mindset. It was fun. You run around, you get the blood going. Like when we all went back, we all went back to smoking cigars. We were all laughing our balls off, you know, afterwards, guys going, hey, you fucking did this. Uh, you were scared and blah, blah, blah. And, <laughs> and then we were like, dude, who the fuck said get WD-40 in a match? And we all just started laughing. We're like, dude, you're definitely voting for Trump. Get his coat. Get his coat. Take his coat. Right. 